Pasta stained glass is one of our favorites here on the nursery. We love the fact that it's nice and vigorous and strong growing. We really like the fact that it has these puckered leaves that have heavy substance that things like slugs and seals normally don't bother with. But we also like the fact that it makes a nice big solid clump because it's good and vigorous. It will grow into a clump about 15 inches high and spread out to be about three, three and a half, maybe at times as much as four foot wide. And all the time making these gorgeous, big, bold, luxuriant looking leaves that can get up to as much as 10 inches long. We like the fact that it has this very nice green edge around the outside of the leaves. And as you see, the way you look on it here, you can see where the name stained glass came from. Found as a sport by Hans Hansen on Lockamoli when he was running his Shady Oaks nurseries, this is without doubt one of the favorite ones in the whole industry. Voted the Hosta of the Year by the Hosta Growers Association in 2006 and then got multiple other awards. It just is a really great performer for a wide variety of uses in the garden. It will grow in shade probably best in a partially shaded site and ideally maybe somewhere where it gets a little bit of the morning sun because then you'll see that the color intensifies to a brighter more golden yellow. What's also nice about it is that it's remarkably sun tolerant so if you don't have any shade and you want to grow hostas and all you got is sunny conditions if you dig a really good hold which you should do anyway and mix in plenty of organic matter and keep the roots so that they're nice and cool and moist and have plenty of available moisture to draw on then you'll find that it will do very well in the sun too it's a very nice sun tolerant variety then later on in the summertime, late summer it'll start to flower and that's when it puts up pale lavender flowers that are beautifully fragrant so as you see it really has a lot going for it it's one of the larger ones, so you might want to put it in at the middle or to the back of a bed or a border. You could use it obviously as a single specimen, but I would suggest that you probably look at putting it in in a nice big bold group and maybe contrast it with other variegated hostas too. It'll do well with ferns, it'll do well with the stillbees, with bleeding hearts and other shade tolerant plants makes a very very nice easy to grow and highly reliable variety which is why it's part of the hand pick for you program which really just testifies that it's a proven performer right here in our region this is hosta stained glass a really excellent hosta that i think you'll enjoy growing and get many years of gorgeous colorful foliage from it